everyone. Today we are going to talk about marijuana legalization and its economic impact. We have chosen this topic because nowadays there has been an increase in public support towards legalizing marijuana for recreational use. We will first go through all the pros and cons of legalizing this uh, product and then we will give an example of the US, the state of Colorado and finally speak about Europe. Now, we will see the pros. First of all, we have to talk about the black market. If you legalize recreational marijuana, the black market will start to be dismantled little by little. This will also lead to an increase in quality and in safety control associated to recreational marijuana. Then, the tax revenue increase. Each of the states that have legalized recreational marijuana has experienced an increase in their tax revenue because you have a new product to be taxed. Then job creation. There's a job creation cycle because you are generating more and more jobs in an industry that is still developing. So you've got a lot of potential and lots of new jobs that can be developed. We have to also mention the medical use when it comes to medical marijuana. It is all, it's even better than some of the drugs we all take because it's more natural and not so artificial. Who knows what, I, what is in our pills. Then there's, a, there's been a decrease in drug gun violence which has led also to an increase in efficiency and effectiveness from the police. This means as there are less petty crimes associated to selling and buying drugs on the street, especially marijuana, police can focus on bigger crimes and not so much on petty crimes. And finally we have to mention this, the CEO of Marijuana Policy Group, Adam Odens, said that if this is done right, regulated right, taxed right, this industry can bring real economic benefits to a state. Thank you, Adam. Now, let's talk about the cons. This is very serious, guys. Very serious. First of all, marijuana is addictive. Addictive. Well, especially in young people. You know, if you legalize marijuana, young people, especially kids, are affected because they start smoking pot and their minds and their bodies are not developed. You're affecting their developing minds and bodies and this has effects on their education. And their education is one of the most important things you have to give to a kid. But it's kind of a bit ambiguous in the can because there are people who argue that if they are allowed to smoke, they won't be smoking so much cigarettes, which is worse, and drinking so much alcohol. Let's move to the next car. Well, sometimes marijuana is associated to increasing mental conditions such as depression. This means uh, complicated. Plus also an increase in heart uh, diseases and lung cancer. At the end, all of this repercutes and has a very big effect on the healthcare system, which has to increase its cost in order to uh, take care of these people. Thirdly, we have to look at productivity losses. When it comes to productivity, workers who have reportedly used marijuana are more likely to don't go to work or to have accidents in their workplace. For example, the absentee rate in the states for people who, have, who smoke pot on a regular basis is 70% higher than those who don't smoke. And when it comes to accidents, it's 55% higher. Then we have also to take into consideration that marijuana is a gateway drug. This means you start here with marijuana, a bit, then move to here, and then you move to really hard drugs, and that's super bad for everything. Now, let's move to Colorado. Well, first of all, Colorado was one of the first states to legalize medical marijuana just after California in 2000. Then, it was the first state to legalize recreational marijuana in 2013. We are going to go over the data and the figures 
of the economic impact this recreational legalization of marijuana had in 2014. We should start talking about the tax revenue increase. It was expected that after the legalization, the tax increase would be of $98 million. However, it was only of $17 million, which is still it's a very high figure, and almost doubled that tax revenue coming from alcohol, which was $42 million. Then, job creation. During 2014, the job creation uh, related to the legalization of marijuana was of a, a 18,000 uh, jobs, which, uh, which made a 0.04% of the total workforce of Colorado. It was expected and it has been expected to increase uh, little by little uh, because of the sector and because right now it's still developing. Uh, then we have to talk about crime. Well, in the city of Denver, the crime rate decreased 2.2% after the delegalization, meaning that no, those who said that it would really decrease were wrong. Also, property crime decreased by an 8.9%, almost a 9%. When it comes to car fatalities, um, this, the data is kind of a bit unclear because we've got both sources that state that there has been an increase of 145% when it comes to drivers um, that had been used in marijuana before legalization and therefore had a car fatality afterwards but there are also other sources who, that said that there has not been an increase in fatalities mm -hmm. lastly we have to mention underage consumption which uh, has decreased uh, on the whole as you can see in this graph from the states now let's go to fancy old Europe in Europe we have two main examples to talk about first of all we will go to Amsterdam Amsterdam has always been associated to to being the capital of with consumption like forever but I'm sorry to tell you this guys since 1995, the number of coffee shops has fallen almost half by half. It has started being 350 and now it's in 167 coffee shops in the city of Amsterdam. That's a great drop. Well, however, with consumption and every type of transaction related to this amounts to 0.54 uh, percent of the G national GDP and generates 2.5 billion euros per year to the national economy being even more than cheese. But the examples are not that pessimistic. We have now a new mecca for weed and it's -da 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 -da, Barcelona! Well, Thanks to the legal vacuum that has been uh, in this city in the recent years, there are more than 250 clubs have opened since 2014. This means in three years. These clubs are called private smoker clubs. You go there, you pay a membership, and you can smoke all your pot and weed in there. In Barcelona, it is allowed to grow and consume privately. You cannot sell it. However, activists claiming that, it's, that the weed industry should be legalized say that it would generate more than 200 million VA euros in VAT tax, plus 40,000 uh, jobs both directly and indirectly. To sum up, this is much greater than the official figures the Spanish government provides which say that with consumption in Spain amounts to 1.2 million euros per year. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Paula Gurbindo, these are my collaborators. Until I got high <laughs> I was gonna get up and find the broom But then I got high uh. My room is still messed up And I know why Why, man? Yeah, hey.